When there is something haram that is done, it doesn't happen spontaneously, brothers and sisters. It doesn't just come out of the blue. No. There are what? There are steps that lead to it. A journey of a thousand steps begins with the first step. And anytime there is zina, adultery, it doesn't spontaneously happen. There are steps, there are things that trigger it. And the thing that triggers adultery is the look. The man looks, the man is tempted, the man is aroused, the man goes after his desire. And that's why Allah says in order to prevent zina, in order to close the door of adultery, stay away from it, don't look. Because once you look, you're going to have to take step two until step 100. And that's why in Arabic, there's a beautiful, famous poem that speaks about this. How the fact that looking will trigger everything else and it will lead to zina. The poem says, نَظْرَةٌ فَابْتِسَامَةٌ فَسَلَامٌ فَكَلَامٌ فَمَوْعِدٌ فَلِقَاءٌ It all begins with the first look. The man looks, نَظْرَةٌ فَابْتِسَامَةٌ And then he smiles and she smiles back. The mutual smile. And then they say, hi, how are you doing? And then فَكَلَامُ They begin to speak. فَمَوْعِدٌ After they speak, they break the eyes. Now they said what? They make an appointment, let's meet. فَمَوْعِدٌ فَلِقَاءُ They meet and the haram is done. So this haram, the final step, if you want to, if you want to analyze and see how it began, it began with that first look. If that man would have moved away, moved his face away, the haram would have never happened. And that's why Allah says, وَقُلْ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ يَغُضُّوا مِنْ Tell the believing men to what? To lower their gaze. When I see a woman, I move my face right away. And that's why you see the hadith says, the hadith of Imam al-Sadiq says, النَّظْرَةُ سَهْمٌ مِنْ سِهَامٌ Iblis masmoo. That the look, when I look at a woman, this is one of the most powerful tools of the shaitan. It is an arrow of the shaitan. That when I look, he captures me. It's bait. He captures me through that. So when I look, this leads to everything else. And that's why the shaitan wants me to look. Because the look will lead to everything else. Allah wants to completely close the doors of the haram. Don't go near zina. Don't look because it may lead to zina. And that's why the Quran says, وَلَا تَقْرَبُوا zina." Do not come near to zina. Stay away. 100 steps away from zina. That's why Islam concentrates on the barrier between men and women. Why? Because many times when a man feels too comfortable around a woman, it will lead to haram. Allah says, place that barrier. Be modest in front of man. Be modest in front of a man. A man has to be modest in front of the woman in their clothes and in their behavior and in their conduct. And that's why you see the hadith says that any time a man and a woman, they are together alone in a room, the third person automatically is whom? The shaitan. The shaitan is always the third person because he sees this is the best opportunity. A man and a woman, na mahram, they're in the room. So this is where he comes and he tries to what? Do the haram.